Welcome to yet another video session. In this session, we will discuss about sustainable development. Today, we will dive into a topic that is crucial for our future, that is sustainable development. We all want a world that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. So, if you are ready to make a positive impact and achieving sustainable development, watch this video till the end. So, without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all we will understand what sustainable development is and why it matters for us and for the future generations. We will learn about the three pillars of sustainable development that is economic, social and environmental. How they affect each other and our well-being. Then we will talk about how together we can support sustainable development in our lives. We will explore how sustainable development relate to different fields such as agriculture, health, education, urban planning etc. We will find out what are the best practices or policies for sustainability in our sector and how we can adapt them or advocate for them. How we can monitor the progress and challenges of sustainable development. Then we will talk about the different sustainable development goals and how they affect our community. We will find out the best possible solutions to achieve those goals. Everything around us forms our environment and our lives depend on the natural world around us. Over the years with economic development, there has been an increase in the environmental pollution. For example, with the introduction of high input agriculture, we can grow more food by using fertilizers, pesticides and hybrid crops. But it has led to soil and environmental degradation. We need to plan the use of resources in a sustainable manner so that we and our future generation can enjoy the good environment. Are we planting more trees? or are we destroying them for our use? Are we saving the water resources or just polluting them with garbage? Are we using the clean energy or are we burning wood, petrol and adding to pollution? Then we are just thinking about ourselves, about our immediate development and not about the long term development. With increasing population and income, the consumption of goods is increasing day by day. This has led to increase in production and utilization of natural resources which are required for producing goods. Society must change its development strategy to a new form where development will not destroy the environment. This form of sustainable development can only be brought about if each individual practices a sustainable lifestyle. Since most of the natural resources are scarce, therefore, careful utilization of resources is necessary. Sustainable development is defined as a development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. For example, sustainable agriculture consists of environmental friendly practices, methods of farming that allows the production of agriculture crops or livestock without damage to humans or natural systems. It also involves preventing the use of chemicals so as to avoid adverse effects to soil, water and biodiversity. Now let us see the problems related to sustainable development. First is food. The amount of rich fertile land needed to grow crops such as wheat, rice etc is becoming less as we are using more and more land for our purposes. Soil nutrients are also getting depleted and lot of chemicals are spoiling the soil due to the use of chemical fertilizers. Water. We use fresh water from rivers and ponds for drinking and cleaning but dump garbage into them. The rivers and ponds are getting polluted. This way, after several years, we will have no clean water for our use. Next is fuel. We are using lot of wood from trees as fuel and for construction of homes and furniture. As more and more trees are being cut, it is affecting the climate of the place. Extreme weather conditions such as floods, extreme cold or heat are seen in many places which affect the people living there. Sustainable development includes reducing excessive use of resources and enhancing resource conservation, recycling and reuse of waste material, scientific management of renewable resources, especially bioresources, planting more trees, using more environment friendly materials or biodegradable materials and use of technologies which are environmental friendly and based on efficient use of resources. Sustainable development goals were launched at the United Nations Sustainable Development Summit in New York in September 2015 forming the 2030 agenda forming the 2030 agenda for sustainable development it has set targets that the countries should work towards and achieve by 2030 
The 17 Sustainable Development Goals have been made with the aim to take care of the important issues facing businesses, governments and society. Some of these issues are poverty, gender equality, water use, energy, climate change and biodiversity. Countries are now making policies and regulations that will promote sustainable development systems needed in all economic sectors to provide a secure, affordable and sustainable economy. Now let us look at sustainable development practices. Some practices such as organic farming, vermicomposting and water harvesting are being used to preserve the environment. Organic farming is where farmers do not use chemical pesticides, fertilizers to increase their production. They use organic and natural fertilizers such as cow dung to help in growing crops. This helps in better quality chemical free crops while at same time maintaining the soil quality for future use. This is a true example of sustainable development where we are not only using the environmental resources but also preserving it for the future generations. Our role in sustainable development Increasing population and development has lead to increase in consumption of the natural resources. The more the population, the more food, energy and water resources we need. When we grow more crops, the soil nutrients are consumed and slowly the soil become unusable. Similarly, if we continue to use the fossil fuels such as coal, oil, natural gases, very soon we will run out of these natural resources. We use so many resources from nature. But do we give back to the nature? Factories give out smoke that pollutes the air. Garbage collected from homes is dumped into the landfills. Untreated garbage can lead to diseases and unhealthy environment. Sewage from cities is dumped into the seas and lakes, making it unsafe for marine life. This shows that though we are using the natural resources, we are doing nothing to return or give back to the nature. Natural resources are limited and with time they will get over and if we do not do anything about it our future generations will not be able to survive our initiative was taken by ministry of railways in varanasi where they have introduced the pots coolers to replace plastic and paper cups and to bring back taste of tradition so let us see the advantages which were gained by using coolers first is to reduce reduce the cutting of trees for making paper cups job creation for potters who contribute to the economy third is to reduce plastic waste sustainable development can actually happen when each of us work towards it we have to become responsible citizen who can protect the environment through our own efforts so now, now we will look at the various ways how people can help towards sustainable development goals quality education education is the most important factors for sustainable development children who have gone to school will be able to do jobs so that they can take care of themselves and their families education help us become aware of our roles as a responsible citizen clean water and sanitation we must make efforts to make to build toilets and create awareness towards sanitation industrial pollution is polluting our water resources which in near future will cause scarcity of cleaning water and usable water we must take measurable steps by promoting awareness to keep water sources clean next is affordable and clean energy using solar power that is power generated by the sun does not cause pollution as it does not require burning of non renewable fuels such as coal we are making efforts to increase the solar power generation so that our electricity needs are met and at the same time we do not pollute the environment or use up natural resources use of biogas is also an eco friendly alternative to natural gas next is decent work and economic growth we can study and find good jobs to take care of ourselves and our families work hard and contribute to the society learn and develop skills so that we get more value in our community we can add value in our community next is reduced inequalities to reduce inequalities we can be helpful to one another be friendly with everyone we can include everyone while working or playing we can help others by including everyone whether they are small big whether they are small or big or whether it is a girl or boy belonging to any class or caste next is sustainable cities and communities creating sustainable cities save energy by switching lights and fans when not in use use natural light as much as possible use energy efficient lights that is led bulbs and appliances 
responsible consumers and producers we can become responsible about our environment by reusing paper glass plastic water etc taking cloth bags to the market carrying fruits and vegetables we can donate things which we do not use such as clothes books furniture foods etc we can buy and eat seasonal fruits and vegetables from local groceries to repair leaking taps and pipes to avoid wasting water to sort and treat garbage before disposing to protect life below water tons of plastic is found in the seas which is killing marine life protecting marine life saving our oceans from pollution is necessary to preserve the marine life protect life on land cutting of trees is leading to soil pollution and erosion and making land dry and unusable for cultivation planting more trees to replace the ones that we have cut is an important step towards sustainable development now let us see the advantages of sustainable development some of the benefits of sustainable development are it improves the quality of life for present and future generation by balancing social economic and environmental needs for example sustainable development can improve health outcomes reduce poverty and hunger and enhance cultural diversity and social cohesion it reduces greenhouse emissions and mitigate the impacts of cultural change by promoting renewable energy sources energy efficiency and low carbon technologies for example sustainable development can lower the risk of extreme weather events sea level rise water scarcity and increase the resilience of communities and ecosystems it preserves natural resources and biodiversity by preventing over exploitation pollution and habitat loss for example sustainable development can conserve soil fertility water quality and availability forest cover and wildlife diversity and support ecosystem services and functions it fosters social justice and human rights by reducing poverty inequality and discrimination enhancing participation empowerment and education for example sustainable development can promote gender equality racial justice indigenous rights disability inclusion and youth empowerment it ensures quality education healthcare and social protection it simulates economic growth and innovation by creating new markets jobs and opportunities for green and circular economy for example sustainable development can boost productivity competitiveness and profitability foster entrepreneurship and innovation and generate new sources of income and employment what is the role of teachers and students in changing the world how teachers and students can play a vital role in changing the world for the better teachers can inspire educate and empower students to become active and responsible citizens who can contribute to social change students can learn question and challenge the status questions and seek solutions to the global issues that affects them and others teachers and students can collaborate communicate and create with peers and partners from different backgrounds cultures and perspectives to foster intercultural understanding teachers and students can use their skills knowledge and creativity to innovate and transform their communities and societies in sustainable and inclusive ways
I hope you find this video useful. If you have any suggestion or queries, then you can ask in the comment box. For more interesting videos like this, please like, share and subscribe to this channel.